Such good news for people who live in Tremont because of all of this Interbelt construction going on all night long. Yeah, that's right, Paul. We got to talk about the Interbelt for several reasons. First, we're seeing some ramp restrictions along I 90. It will be closed partially today between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. That's 90 west to 77 south. Tonight, you'll see closures as well. That ramp will be completely shut down 90 west to 77 south beginning at 8 p.m. ODOT already posting signs out there this morning to warn drivers for those extra anticipated delays. And, Paul, you mentioned the, mm -hmm. the pile driving. Work. Some of the residents locally uh, complaining overnight that they could hear it even uh, from far distances away than sure. what was predicted. So we're continuing to follow that story, and it has been a bit noisy for residents across the region. The pile driving work is for Pier 11, the final foundation pier for the new Interbelt Bridge, and driving those 160 foot steel beams into the Cuyahoga River Valley is keeping some people up at night. Several local residents, as we mentioned, already posting complaints on Facebook. One woman even called our newsroom overnight to complain. We can't sleep with this banging on the bridge. You know, we live here in the city of Cleveland and we're supposed to just shut up and like it and ignore it, which is impossible. You can't get away from it. I've got earplugs, I've got a sound machine, I have an aquarium, I have two fountains, I, you know, for this, with the sound of running water to try and drown it out. You can't drown that out. And, Paul, we're going to continue to stay on top of this situation. The city expected to make a recommendation as to whether or not that vote and that interbelt overnight portion of the project will be able to continue. Look for updates on Newsnet5.com and right here on News Channel 5. On News Channel 5. You know, it's got to be such a frustrating situation for the people that live in and around the Tremont area. At the same time, we need a new bridge. Exactly. So a little bit of patience, perhaps, in the wake of progress. ODOT saying that they want to speed up that work to, to kind of beat some of the heavy winter weather that we're expecting in through December. But for the residents' sake, hopefully they can work out something. Thanks a lot. Good Alicia. night's sleep.